Before we get into today's video, I've got three things for you. Number one, if you want to get a notification whenever we post a new video, make sure you ring that bell. Number two, there's a TCG Player affiliate link in the show notes. After clicking that link, every purchase you make on tcgplayer.com helps support this channel. Number three, you'll also find a link to our Patreon where you can support us directly. And now, kick back and enjoy the show. What's up, Spikes? Jan here. Today I'm joined by Playing With Power, Play To Win, and Casually Competitive. And we're going to bring you a sweet Kaldheim Legends preview. We're each playing a deck manned by four of the new legends from Kaldheim. And it's going to be a sweet time. I had a lot of fun brewing this deck, and we had a lot of fun playing these games. These games are also brought to you by TCG Player. So let's get into it. I'm Mike, Playing With Power. I'm playing Orvar, the All Form. This is a mono blue storm list. Um, uh, with a lot of, uh, crazy, crazy shenanigans. Nice. Uh, go ahead, Jan. Uh, I'm Jan. I'm from the Spike Feeders. I was about to say playing with power. I don't know why. I'm just zoned <laughs> out. Um, uh, from the Spike Feeders, I'm playing, uh, Jorn, God of Winter. This is a salt eye stasis list. Um, I don't know if I've built it correctly, but I guess we'll find out. I'm just going to place no permanents and untap them. All right. Uh, my name is Adam from Casually Competitive. I'm playing Turgrid, God of Fright. This is a mono black, like resource denial stack deck that uses lots of stuff like Mind Slicer, Dark Deal, and like Death Cloud to make people sack things and discard cards so that I can take them and use them. All right, and I'm Dylan from Play to Win. I'm playing Bergy, God of Storytelling. Uh, this is a mono red storm deck. It wins with storm. <laughs> Not sure how good it is, but it'll definitely do something. I don't know if that something will win me the game. Uh, so <laughs> I, yeah, I, I don't have any pregame effects. Anybody else have any any, any pregames? Uh, nope. I got nothing. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna play a scalding tarn for turn. I will go ahead and fetch, losing a life. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna play a uh, a chrome mox. Mm -hmm. And I am going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to exile a uh, brainstorm, and I'm going to pay two and cast a sapphire medallion. That's pretty good. Very nice. And then I will pass the turn. All right, I'm gonna draw a card right here. Ooh, that's a card. I'm going to play this Wooded Foothills. I'm going to crack it. Also go down to 39. Okay, so off of my Wooded Foothills, I'm going to get this Bayou. Then I'm going to play into the Mental Misstep and cast a Carpet of Flowers. Yikes. Oh, I don't have Mental Misstep. <clears throat> that resolves. All right, dope. <laughs> uh, second main phase, I'm going to make a Blue and cast Ponder. Uh, all right, so I'm going to shuffle my library and draw that card, and then I'm going to pass. All right, I will draw for turn. And say that this might look scary, but please don't hurt me. <laughs> uh, I'm playing a <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will play a Mana Crypt. I'm going to play mm -hmm. this Chromox Exiling okay. <laughs> Iron Slicer. Uh, uh, then I will tap this for using one of the mana to play a mana vault. Jeez. Wow! Oh my God. <laughs> use use the one and then one from this to play a jet medallion. Okay. And then use the <laughs> two Damn. two black black and cast my commander. This might look scary. Oh then... my God! <laughs> I mean, I, that is scary, uh, man. <laughs> don't worry, there's nothing going on over here. One card um, left or two? Uh, two. Nobody cast the wheel. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> then I'll cast the turn. Holy shit, my turn is so embarrassing compared to you. Oh, yeah, everyone else did. Okay, draw a card. <laughs> everyone else. I'll play a mountain and mountain and pass. Jesus. Wow, okay. Uh, untap <laughs> and draw. Cool. I get, I get to play around. Uh, Carpet of Flowers. Um, I'll play an Adventure's Fair. Oh. Turns hurt, out hurt me. I am playing that card. Uh, okay. 
Welp. Is that a thing? I guess that's a thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm going to play two and a uh, colorless. Maybe I want to tap this. Yeah, I'll tap it this way. Uh, I'm going to cast a trinket mage. Does that go with everybody? Um, go yeah, with the other blue deck? Okay, cool. I will reveal a mana crypt. I will play mana crypt. Uh, I'll pass the turn. All right. I will untap and draw. There's so much happening. I'm really afraid of whatever <laughs> whatever uh, <laughs> sliver boy is about to do over there. What? Ten mana That's commander in play. Talking about. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna add a blue. I'm gonna play this windswept heath, and I just realized because you played an Urborg, I don't have to give you this fetch land. <laughs> that, nice. that is. That oh, is, is it actually is it actually a thing? Fetch yeah, because yeah, sac he's because if you sack it, he gets it. That's that's really funny. Um, <clears throat> all right, I'm about to put a massive, massive target on my back. But I feel <laughs> like this, like, this game has to happen. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna spend the blue, and I'm gonna make a black, and I'm gonna cast a null rod. Ooh. Hey. Oh, that, that is a, a little sad. Target. <laughs> I don't think there's any way I could get rid of that in my decks. So. <laughs> oh, I feel that, man. I feel that. Um. Okay, so obviously, uh, no one's responding except for me, and uh, I will pass priority. All right. Dope. Be very uh, sad about it. And then I'll play this land or else. <laughs> and at that point, I think oh, I'll boy. pass the turn. Brace for impact. Right. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, Nilrod does a pretty good job of shutting off both of these players right, right now. Which it is sure good. does. Dude, when it I, sure I does. definitely don't have any lands in my hand. <laughs> uh, where's my little dice? I, I ripped a land off the top. I got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I this this was off ponder. This was my draw oh, off ponder, oh, like after really? shuffling. So that was like I, I take damage. Fortunate. So you're gonna take four. My punishment for playing all this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. That, that's not a land. Uh. We're glad I uh, took out a braid for thunderclap. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will. I will swing at Dylan. That's you, Jan, for that, that, that painful null rod play. Attacking Dylan for four. Wow. All right. Four I, five. That's it, commander damage. Right yeah. I, I played one mountain. Please leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I will take four. Track it on here too. No, right. we just need a uh, rule of wall effect to really to really <laughs> shut, shut the nail in the coffin. <laughs> uh, and then, if that is good, I will pass turn. Oh, wait, I gotta... Go to my turn. Good. Untap this. I was like, I can't use it. I might as well not untap it. Draw a card. I'll play uh, mountain. You okay? No, I'm good. I'm good. Sorry, sorry. You're good. Go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna cast this hilariously ah! ridiculous <laughs> oxide extortionist. <laughs> Jealous. It's like I have two. In treasures that do nothing. I have three. I have four. I have... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that nine treasures? Uh, two, four, yeah. Sweet. Man, this turn could have been so cool, Jan. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, since I can't do anything with them. I'm not here for a All good right. time. I'm here for a long time. <laughs> That's how that goes, just, right? Oh, God. That's so, that no ride is... Oh, God, okay. He has the potter, and he's like, yeah, yeah, I want this game to do six hours. I, well, I didn't make that choice. I was like, I don't want either of these lands. I guess I'll just draw something. Yeah. I'm going to roll for Mana Crypt. Odds are bad. Uh, there's a two. You guys can see that. Yeah, that's a two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw for turn. Sweet. That actually was not the worst draw. Yeah, I'll play an Ancient Tomb. Oh, my God. That's, yeah, that's a pretty good draw. Uh, I'll, I'm will i going to take two damage. Is that? No, hang on, hang on. I don't have to do that. I can do it like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm going to tap Ancient Tomb, take two damage. 
I'm going to tap for a blue, and I'm going to cast my commander, Orvar, the all form. How much does Orvar cost? Uh, three and a blue. I have a Sapphire Medallion in play. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, Can you tell me again what it does? I'm sorry. Changeling, 3-3. Three, three. Whenever I cast an instant or sorcery spell, if it targets one or more other permanents I control, create a token that's a copy of one of those permanents. When a spell or ability an opponent controls, it causes me to discard a card, create a token that's a copy of target permanent. Oh, no. Okay. The original list had a command beacon or whatever, so you could sack it and put them into your hand for wheels. <laughs> discard them and copy. I was like, ah, that's probably too too much of a meme. <laughs> I'm going to go to combat. Yep. And I'm gonna it's a 3-3, right? He is a 3-3. Uh, or, or, I'm sorry, Orvar, uh, probably genderless tentacle monster, shapeshifter. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, I'm going to go to combat, and I'm going to send Trinket Mage at Jan for 2. For 2? Yeah. All right, I'll go to 33. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> we will end you <laughs> very slowly. <laughs> I'll pass turn. All right, I'm going to untap. Uh, draw this card. What out of blue... And a green, uh, and I'm going to cast a Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. Ooh. And yep, then pass. Uh, <clears throat> two green and a black to cast Varagoth, Blood Sky Sire. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That is a good one. Uh, and after that, I'm going to pass my turn. All right, uh, I will untap. We'll take another damage from the vault, and then roll for crypt. And thank you, crypt. All right, please land. Uh, just uh, pass. Pass, okay. My turn. No swinging. I was gonna say, I got this. Brutal. Oh, he has double block, it has menace. That's fine. You wouldn't do that. It's got death touch. <laughs> you think I care about yeah, these creatures? <laughs> <laughs> How many cards are in everyone's hand? I have three. I have three as well. I got four. Is this mountain wheel? No, this is just trying to evaluate how far behind I really am. Oh. <laughs> So my board looks scary, but if you get rid of the half that doesn't do anything, it's not that scary. <laughs> That's what I mean. I'm trying to see how yeah, much time I have this, here. This Are we dead soon or not? I, I have I have Urborg. Yeah. That's my board. <laughs> I think I think Jan is very far ahead currently. I cast Magda, Brazen Outlaw. Ooh. Treasure. Pool. Oh, that's uh oh, okay. What does okay. this one do? Potentially really good if there wasn't a no rod. I can sack them to tutor still with Magda. Yeah, but, uh, it kind of prevents the, the the loops that I'd be after with Dockside right now. Mm, yes. Um, is this resolved, Magna Good? Everyone? Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I am pretty sure it resolves. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna pass my turn after that, though. Okay, I need I need a good draw. I uh, will draw for turn. I need you to draw an island. Is what I need. I know. I would kill <laughs> for an island right now. That was not an island, though. Um, I'm gonna pay a blue, and I am going to cast a merchant scroll. Search for a blue instant or a blue interrupt. Reveal it and put it into my hand. You good? You all good? Yeah. You good? I'm going to reveal whims of Falrath. What does that do? Um, it's a one mana, one blue instant with buyback for two. Mm -hmm. Change the text of target permanent by replacing all instances of one color word or basic land type oh, with sweet. another until end of turn. Okay, so it's just it's just a like freebie target your stuff. It, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> That's pretty sweet. Um, That's actually pretty sweet. And, uh, I'll uh, pass turn. All right, cool. Uh, I'm gonna untap and draw. I'm gonna add a. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh. Sorry, I missed my meta crypt roll. Oh yeah, yeah. go for it. Uh, so you just go ahead and do that. You mean yeah. do it? How should I do it? Just do it. Okay. It's odd. I'll take damage. We can fix that in post. You know, it's fine. It's okay. We have a trick we use. It's like it's okay. Comments. We got it. We figured it out. We got there. 
Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Of people who uh, already commented, yeah. you look silly now. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to add a blue. And... I'm going to cast a brainstorm. Draw three. I think it's those two. So I'm going to add black, black, two green. Let's cast an Ashiok Dream Render. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, Great, I don't right? have any counter spells. <laughs> and then I can cast them that using yeah, Dragon. No, I don't. Uh, okay, I'll pass on that. All right. Uh, cool. um, I guess, hold on. Maybe, yeah, I'm, hold on. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm assuming you have responses. Have yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, me, let me get one. Let me get one. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Let me get one. Um, yeah. So I'm taking extra yeah, I'll long sacrifice. <laughs> I'll sacrifice five treasures, go down to four, and activate Magna, search my library for a dragon or an artifact, and put it into the battlefield. Yeah. It was the next card. Isn't that fun when that happens? Cloudstone Curio. Mm. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, but then I'm going to pass priority. The Ash Shock then resolves. Yeah, let's... Uh... We're going to down tick and let's target Dylan. Four. Four. Yeah, mill four and then exile all graveyards. Red Elemental Blast, Past in Flames, right. Wooded Foothills, and Gamble. Or each opponent's <clears> graveyards. <throat> Excellent, we okay. did it. Uh, then I'm just going to pass. Alright. We'll untap all this tap stuff. Then I'm going to lose a life for my vault. And then roll for the crypt. And out. All I want is a land. Oh, I hate it so much. Can we can we accept that the uh, Chrome Ox has for blue so I can get this brainstorm off my battlefield? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, it looks like I am passing the turn again. Oh, all I keep drawing is three drops, and I'm one man away. Okay, untap. Ashiok was pretty timely. Um, I'll cast Thrill of Possibilities as an additional cost. I'm going to discard um, Chromatic Sphere. Oh, 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 oh. I'm a, I'm a... I'm gonna take you get a chromatic screw? Yeah, yeah, you can have it. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna give it to you. Ready? Here you go. Okay. Oh, oh look yeah, at that. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Beautiful. Right. A two. Play a mountain. Faster. Draw for turn. Oh, brutal. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll just pass the turn. Okay. I'll untap. Draw this card that I was aware of. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to add a blue. Uh, and then a black. I'm going to cast a Gilded Drake. Respondent to Gilded Drake. Who's your target? Um, yeah, I'll pass. Uh, I'm going to target Turgid. Or Turgid. Go what? I'm going to target oh, the black, Turgid. The black, the black, the black. Yeah. Is that what it is? Turgid? Turgrid. Turgrid. I think. Oh, yeah. Who's saying Tegrid? So I respond by tapping your board to cast Kelling the Weak, additional cost, and sacrificing my commander. Oh, that's fair. Okay. So Gilda Drake will go to the graveyard. That's like 70% of what I wanted. I didn't actually look at <laughs> it. I'm going to crack this one so I'm teeth. <laughs> Go to 32. Oh, I wanted it so bad. <laughs> I know. I'm going to get this tropical island. Uh, then I'm going to add two green, a blue, and cast a Rhystic Study. Oh, oh, yikes, dude. I'll have to respond to that. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll respond. I'll use the uh, okay. two of the floating mana that I had <clears throat> to help cast this Vona's Hunger, which it has a send, but I don't have city's blessing but it's uh, each opponent sacrifices a creature and if i had the oh. city's blessing each opponent sacks half their creatures rounded up oh so just one creature right now 
Yeah, yeah just one creature for everybody. Um, yeah, I'll sacrifice Trinket Mage. Let me get back to the table. I think I'll sacrifice. Sacrifice Doxide, I think. <clears throat> Sacrifice our land or else. We're playing fast and loose. We don't care anymore. <laughs> um. So. Okay. So that'll resolve, right? Yeah. And then the heuristic study is still in the stack. And Dylan, did you have any response to heuristic study? Fortunately, I do not. Wish I had a rail elemental blast or something though. Okay. I do have a response, and it is a strange one. Um. <laughs> but I'm going to pay a blue. Did you already trigger Carpet of Flowers? Uh, I I did, yeah, for the Gilded Drake. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm going to pay a blue, and I'm going to play a Colorless. Um, it costs one less because of Sapphire Medallion. Mm. I'm going to cast a Women of Valrath with buyback, targeting my island. Oh, that make a new uh, island? Tr it'll trigger Orvar, yeah. and it'll make an island token. Which permanent? I thought it was a creature. It's permanent. <laughs> it is permanent. <laughs> Um, and then <clears throat> I'm going to use two colorless and a blue. Uh, take two damage off of Ancient Tomb. And I'm going to have a blue float or a colorless floating. And I'm going to cast Wilma Varath targeting my island token with buyback. I'll nice. make an island token. This is, this is spicy. With one floating, I'm going to cast the Wilma Varath targeting my island token again. Uh, buyback. And trigger Orvar again. Yep. I'll make a new island. This time I have no colorless floating. So I'm going to use a blue. And I'm going to cast a Swan Song targeting Rhystic Study. That was the bluest ramp I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, the, the things I've, I've done with this, this is like pretty sweet, yeah. Wait, how uh, long did those land tokens stay there for? Forever. Forever. Oh, really? Yeah. I just, yeah, I just paid two mana to ramp a bunch of times. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, actually. That's not. Let's see if I have a spell token. Oh, I'm not gonna get into all of it because some of it didn't even make the cut for the deck. But <laughs> but you can you can make infinite knowledge pools and exile everyone's library, stuff like that. That's pretty crazy. It's, it's fun. That sounds crazy. Uh, I don't currently have a bird. I don't think. So this will be my bird, my two-two bird. Uh, okay. Uh, so at that point, uh, I'm going to uh, mill Mike for four, and then exile everyone's graveyard. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Just gotta uh, get so we some, have uh, Time Twister, Ouch, Mystic Reflection, Windfall, <laughs> and Soaring. That was a good hit. All right. Thank you. All right. And then I guess I will pass the turn. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Untap. It's been a wild deck. I know you really want to give me a land right now. Also, thank you for not hurting me, Crypt. Oh, that is the furthest from a land I'll ever see in my life. I'll go to my turn. Tap. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we can do here. I'll cast Bergy, God of Storytelling. Yep. Now the silliness begins. Uh, I'll pass <laughs> on Bergy. Good so far? Yeah, all good. Um, I'm going to decline the Cloudstone Carrier trigger right now, but uh, I'm going to cast Rograx, Son of Rogath, and make a red mana. Ooh. Yep. I'll pass on that. Is that okay? Yep. Um, I'm going to pass on the Cloudstone trigger. On that one, but next I'm going to cast a Kobolds of Care Keep. Make a red mana. Ooh. Oh, yep. That's Doing not good. Right. Oh, he's got like fireballs to death. <laughs> that one's okay. I'll make the red yeah. and then I'll bounce Rogak. Yep. And I'm going to present a loop where I bounce these guys back and forth forever. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's with infinite red mana. Um, so we got infinite red mana, but <laughs> unfortunately, Jan has really locked me out in a couple different ways, so that doesn't actually do anything right now. Um, Awesome. Uh, this is just going to be um, a billion red mana and a billion storm count is where we're at right now. Perfect. Um, so it casts a crash through and draw a card. Yep. Um, 
cast a Winds of Change. Oh. I appreciate you. No, I'll pass on that one. It's uh, Each player shuffles their hand in and draws that many. That's right. Awesome. I have yeah. four. I, got two. I also I have got four. four. Just look how busted my hand is, man. I was about to go off. I had time spiral, pull from tomorrow, kill the Draco with my right this... hand. Yeah, Thunderclap yeah. was any other removal. If it was a lightning bolt for the Ashiok, I could have tutored a billion things. If it was a chaos warp, I could have gotten rid of the no rod. I mean, it was like if it was just anything. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle. Oh, I will cast a Warlord's Fury and draw a card. <clears throat> yeah, you're lucky I got rid of that um, study. Actually, you don't care about that. You have a fifth mana. Never mind. Well, I would, I would actually, I am lucky because I wouldn't have been oh. able to. I would, I would have drawn Jana's entire deck if I didn't have if oh, that study was yeah. in play. So that was really helpful that you countered that. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> I'm gonna play a land for turn. I'll cast a Memnite, and I'm gonna hold priority, and I'll cast a Tybalt's Trickery on it. <laughs> That's neat. I like it. <laughs> okay. Ooh-hoo. I'm in All for right. it. All right. <laughs> um. So. One, two will be one, two, three will be two. Wait, one, two is one, four is two, five, six is three for how many cards I'll mill. Okay. One, two, what? so that's one card. Uh, mill a pirate spell bomb. And then I exile until a card with a different name. A land with a different name. A Mox Amber. That's an artifact. Oh, perfect. Has a different name. <laughs> we got there. <laughs> Okay, well, I have a Mox Amber. That's really, really good and great. It's really good and great. Um, Adam, I'm going to attack you with Magda, uh, and then when this taps, I'll make another treasure. Ouch. I accept the pain. How much is it? It's just two. I guess I'll play Misha's Bobble also. Um, and I'm going to crack it, and Mike, I'll look at the top of your... Mm, there you no, you won't. Why not? There's an old rod in play. Ooh. You crack it. You go. <laughs> I totally <laughs> forgot. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, okay. That was fun. Yeah, I guess if I if I exiled the birdie, that would have been made the four cards that I drawn would have would have could have been like eight cards. That would have been much better, probably. Okay. Oh well, I'm gonna pass my turn. That's it. I'm hell bent. That's all I got. Perfect. On tap. Upkeep and draw. Perfect. Um. Yeah, I'll play this island. Yes. No stopping me now. I know. That's why I'm like, man. I. Uh, ooh, brutal. I am going to tap this island and cast a candelabra of Tanus. Oh. Oh. And then I will pass the turn. Okay, I'm gonna untap. And this hand isn't quite as good. <laughs> I was hoping that if at worst, if I if I fizzled, I could at least maybe just like disrupt you guys enough to buy myself another turn. I, I obviously could have backfired. I'm probably doing yeah. something better, but make five blue. Uh, we'll spend three of it or two of it. Yeah, three of it. I'm going to transmute muddle the mixture. Uh, I'm going to go get this Thassa's Oracle. Oh boy. Yikes. Yeah, we're going to just like, we're going to cast Thassa's Oracle. Um, so, that's a big, biggest yikes. <laughs> um, let me, ooh, let me think of that one. Um, man. This is so brutal. Do you have anything, Dylan? Do you have anything? Do you have no cards if, in hand? If you can, no cards in hand. If you can get rid of the no rod, I can sacrifice my library for an artifact that would be unhelpful. Yeah, um, no, you can't search. I don't have anything gone. I could find, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll, I'll pass on this Oracle. Okay, well... Might as well go for it. Trigger on the stack. Yeah. Console. Yeah. yeah, this is my interaction. Oh. <laughs> 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 I got yeah, one yeah, card yeah, left yeah, in my yeah, hand. I was saying, like, I got a chain of vapor. If anyone's got anything, I'm, me too. Yeah, I know. I was like, oh man, I was, I was going to um, 
Uh, yeah, I was going to pop off my next turn again. Again, I had Psych Rift. <laughs> I can activate Inventor's Fair and go get something good and have Candelabra in play. Yeah. Oh, oh man. That no rod. Turn two on, I was trying to win, and you played like the no rod, which stopped the artifacts. <laughs> I'm like, that's ridiculous. Okay. And then I have the Magna, and you played the Ashiok, which stopped my tutoring. So I'm like, oh my god, okay. And you played the Rhystic Study, which stopped my like Cloudstone plan. I'm like, this is three turns in a way. You've like predicted exactly how to stop me, it felt like. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, yeah. Well, I like. I didn't really do I anything. I had so much math discard in my hand from t for turn two, and I yeah. couldn't cast anything. I just had mono yeah. three drops in my hand. I think that, that wind, uh, your your winds of change is what got me. Yeah, that null yeah, rod. Was... I, I I sorry. I I definitely drew Jan into that win. I apologize. I was hoping that I'd be more likely to find a win than anyone else would be able to find a way to stop me. But uh, well, no. So I like yeah. So the no the winds of chains drew me into the muddle the mixture and a uh, chain of vapor, and then I drew the consultation. And I was like, well, oh, okay. yeah. I have like literally nothing You were else. tapped out, I think, and I think I was, so was Mike too, so. Yeah, um, I, yeah, yeah, I was tapped out. I did draw the Hydro, like, hydro Blast, so if you had won, I would have been very upset. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting with Hydro Blast in hand. Well, that wraps it up for this week. Um, I thought the game was super sweet. I had a lot of fun playing this deck and a lot of fun putting it together. Um, we didn't get really see what Jorn does. We're more kind of doing just regular sort of Sultai. Uh, Staxy things with consult, but the ability to untap your snow permanents, including himself, uh, that's the big thing, is he's also a snow permanent, kind of gets you uh, around a lot of the stacks, like the stasis, um, winter orb kind of elements. So uh, definitely a lot of potential, definitely a lot of fun. I'll probably tweak this one a bit more too, and maybe we'll see it show up again on a future show. Uh, who knows? And yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that great time. I had a great time. We will see you all next time. Thanks for checking out the Spike Feeders. We'd like to give a shout out to all of our Patreons, along with the ones that you see here. We'd also like to give a special shout out to our tournament grinders, Connor, Luca, and Christopher. We do what we do because of support like yours. Thank you so much. If you want to dress like a Spike Feeder, check out our Teespring link in the description below. Stick around, watch another video, or click here to be taken to another great piece of Spike Feeders content. <laughs>